it reinvigorated me. Mm -hmm. And here I realized, I said, this is what I grew up on. Mm -hmm. This is what I've been looking for, not knowing it was nowhere to be found, mm -hmm. but where it had been recorded, mm -hmm. you know. And speaking of that, I found out that in Ghana, uh, Nigeria, mm -hmm. Kenya, and Halifax, Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. Canada, uh, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, as well as in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. They're still singing the old, old music, music. Mm -hmm. you know, and I've connected with a lot of them through Dr. Mm -hmm. Malefi Asante. Mm -hmm. He told me about the countries in Africa mm -hmm. that were still singing it. And in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, mm -hmm. in the Black Culture Center there, mm -hmm. this was Dr. Henry Bishop, they have a tape up there called, You Brought Me From A Mighty Long mm -hmm. Ways. Mm -hmm. And just listening to them sing in Canada, they still have the majesty mm -hmm in their music. Mm -hmm. And I believe, Dr. Haney, that we can get ours back here mm -hmm. also, but it's going to take some listening. And I'm reminded of what Dr. Uh, uh, Sam, uh, uh, Dr. Samuel Proctor said, mm -hmm. that a lot of our music mm -hmm. is noise without joy. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, instead of That's being a, a joyful mm -hmm. noise, yeah, it's, no, it's an awful, awful noise. noise. That's okay, right. very good. And, I, and I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got about three minutes. Sure. Uh, Reverend Taylor, and, and, and it seems to me that uh, when you talk about these large mass choirs, yes. you're also dealing with an issue that, uh, dealing with, uh, in a real sense, the uh, new or the modern African church, which is to say it's no longer the very, very small church. That's right. It's really the large yes. uh, church, uh, thousands of yes. members yes. with these massive choirs yes. and et cetera and et cetera. That's right. Now, how would you confront that kind of situation? I believe we'll have to compartmentalize mm -hmm. the music. I think the elderly should have their own Sunday where they can worship and not be threatened. Mm -hmm. And I actually wear earplugs mm -hmm. in worship here, mm -hmm. you know, to protect my because, hearing. Uh -huh. And I'm threatened by the instruments entering the worship mm -hmm. service. But I think to compartmentalize the worship, mm -hmm. and I read in the newspaper here where some of the mega churches here, that they're not even going with the ages like mm -hmm. 50 and up. Mm -hmm. They are going with like 40 and below. Mm -hmm. So that means you have a totally different kind of music. Mm -hmm that's going on there. Mm -hmm. So I believe if they compartmentalize it and give each person a chance, each person mm -hmm. at an age group, bracket, yeah, yeah, group, to uh, have their own music. Mm -hmm. And some people think you can mix it, mm -hmm. you know, can mix it up and it'll please everybody. But that's not the case mm -hmm. from uh, what I Yeah, there, there's no way to uh, mix an old spiritual hymn right. with something uh, uh, where there, there's a lot of emotions that's involved right. with it. That's right. And somebody else come along with the same right. hymn uh, blowing a saxophone right. and playing that's drums right. with that's it. Right. Yeah. And, and when you mix that, it really, no. really doesn't mix well. That's right. Yeah, I putting can, old wine in new bottles. bottles. That's right. <laughs> Very good. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's right. And now we've got about a minute and a half. Okay. Uh, here, uh, uh, Minister uh, Taylor, yes, sir. and this gives you an opportunity to uh, perhaps leave us with some words that uh, you'd like to leave the audience with this morning. This is your opportunity to do okay. so. Okay. Well, I would say that I'm speaking on behalf of the edel elderly, the widows, and the orphans in our churches, mm -hmm. and I believe that being in Music City, and there is a Music Muse uh, National Museum of mm -hmm. African American Music, music. Mm -hmm. is being uh, prepared to be built. I believe that this is an opportunity mm -hmm. for the music of the African-American hymns and spirituals to be restored. If everybody would try to get on one accord, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, be patient enough for the spirit to move and be allowed to come into church mm -hmm. and not get angry mm -hmm. and realize that that time period where the music was used into the streets, it's time to use the life of Dr. J. Robert Bradley mm -hmm. to bring our music back mm -hmm. into the church. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and instead of thinking about uh, the life of Dr. Martin Luther King that was yes. concerned with the spiritual and with the civil rights movement and yes. protests and et cetera, That's right. you're now saying that uh, uh, Sir uh, Bradley uh, yes. is, is, is a good representative yes. of how we could conduct ourselves in reference to music today. In reference to music. I appreciate that. Yes, and of course, we've got about uh, 14 seconds. Let yes. me thank you uh -huh. as well as our audience for, uh, and let me encourage them to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.